Hi, this is Susan Leventero. This is going to be a singles love reading for earth signs. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so it says uh, you've been hearing messages from spirit. Okay, I am clear. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit. Okay, so even when we get busy, if we kind of say that to ourselves, I am a clear channel for messages from spirit. Uh, then we we can. That's like giving permission. Okay, uh, for us to really connect standing firm i am noble brave and strong okay i am noble brave and strong okay so this is the taurus okay i am noble brave and strong okay wow i'm picking up the queen again <laughs> okay all right Give me a minute. Okay, so let's get started. Singles love message. For Taurus. Okay, so your love interest is someone who is a friend, is what I'm picking up, okay, and is hiding that they actually uh, are into you more than uh, on a friendship level, and I feel like you already know who I'm talking about, okay, so uh, if you don't, this may not be your reading, okay, so let's just keep going. Okay, but let's see. Let's don't say it's one way or the other. Okay, let's just see where this reading goes. Okay, so I feel like there's someone who's been communicating with you here uh, on a friendship level. But uh, I feel like this person has seen the things that you've gone through in the past and understand uh, where you've come from and your background. So I feel like... Um, there's still this interest and communication going on, but um, a sense of the timing not being right yet, okay, is what I'm picking up. Because I feel like, this is what I feel like the person uh, that, I feel like this is, the person thinks that you would cut them out, okay, or cut them short, you know. Uh, and not give him anything. But here you are. Uh, this is how uh, he sees you. Okay. So we got the Queen of Wands here. He, he sees you as a passionate person. Okay. Okay. And I'm and picking up warm. And... Um, Yeah, warm. Okay. So, but that's hidden. Okay. 
And so I feel like what's been going on is you've just been working and doing, you, uh, you know, uh, Torians are very psychic too. So I feel like you've been just connecting with spirit. Okay. It says hearing messages from spirit. And so you've been doing your thing, what you do. Okay. So there's that nine of pentacles and a uh, high priestess there and you release the past burdens. Okay. All right, so let's ask Spirit, where is this going? Oh, okay, so then uh, that person also uh, saw you as wanting to um, just be aligned and stabilized in your energy, okay, when it comes to finances all the way around the board. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, so let's see. Is this person going to speak up? Or is just going to sit back? Okay, so, yeah, I, you know... This person sees you as a very uh, abundant person and someone who has a lot of foresight. Okay, this is my giraffe <laughs> queen. <laughs> okay, so um, sees you as someone who has the ability to see in the future. Okay, so, but is also very prosperous. Okay, now abundance doesn't have to be just money, right? It's about rich with your family and, uh, you know, the things that you, uh, that your creature comforts of home. Okay. So this person feels like there's a sense of competition. Okay. So Hmm. Okay. So I'm feeling cancer sign here. Okay. But it could be any water sign. But what's interesting is this person has their things that they've been trying to kind of um, balance. Okay. So they might have had something on their end too because look at this ship here. Okay, so let me see what that was. Okay, so just, just be know that um, this person was... Uh, This person did date other people, but was not a player. You also were interested in some people. So I feel like that was the reason why he never said anything. Okay. But he wants to give to it. He really does. Okay. And he feels like it would be the most prosperous future together with you. Okay. Okay, so let's see if we can find a way in, right? Okay, so. Okay, so let's see. What is the soonest that you would let Taurus know that you're interested? Oh, end of October for the soonest that I got. Okay, let's see what the cards say. <laughs> Interesting, this water sign is coming up as an air, uh, air energy all of a sudden. Okay, so what is this? Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is what he wants. He wants for the both of you to come clear with the truth because he feels like that you are interested in him too. Okay, so what would make him think that then if you weren't giving to it, right, in some energetic way? Okay, so I feel like there's a pair right here, Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So my suggestion is if he does... Um, speak up, then uh, tread lightly is my suggestion. 
both sides. <laughs> it seems like are on guard. Okay. And the latest that he wants to let you know is Aquarius uh, season. So, uh, January. He's hoping that you all would um, be together before then. Like anywhere from October to December. Okay, but January is the latest that he wants to come forward with his truth. So, be open to receive is what I would say. Suggest. Okay, so this is how he feels now. He doesn't feel like the king. He feels like the knight. Okay, and he wants to be your knight in shining armor. And he's been thinking about it and pondering about it for a while. Okay, and the reason why he didn't... Uh, He's physically attracted to you, but he didn't want to come forward because um, as a, a lover type sexual energy, because he felt like that you would, uh, he, that he didn't, he wanted to be something long term. He didn't want to have to leave. And he felt like, he felt like that, uh, if it was just a sexual thing, that, that would be, like, he didn't want that to be that way. Okay, so that had him in his uh, emotions. Okay, but thinking about it, and probably overthinking is what I'm picking up here. So slow. He understands. <clears throat> See, he knows that this, this probably won't work, so he's trying to take it slow. Okay, so what would Taurus, what would Taurus need to do to be more receptive? I hope you want him. <laughs> I just got some of you. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see. Receptive mode. What, what, what? Okay, so some of you have other things you want to put your energy to other than a love relationship. So that's been kind of the, the deterrent. It had nothing to do with luck. Okay, so some of you felt like you were just unlucky in love, and that was not the case at all. It's that some of you had career interests. Some of you had... Well, some of you were wanting to just... Uh, increase your monetary gains okay so it was like love on the back burner everything else came first and i feel like a lot of you still haven't decided you know and that was one of my readings uh taurus is that you can have it all you don't have to pick and choose okay one thing over the other okay So it really would take more connecting in silence, I think. Because you're already hearing messages from spirit. So um, the key is to uh, get the guidance on this person. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. They pointed this to me while I was trying to get that message. And they said, this is how most Tauruses see... Uh, uh, a person right now as a threat like a red flag goes up all right well and this okay so this is not supposed to be a red flag for the man this is i am noble brave and strong <laughs> oh that makes sense too because sometimes in that strength mode right people aren't open to uh things it's like being in that so the key is to be courageous but also receiving 
Okay, so in that way, I feel like more doors will open because this deck is gateway oracle cards, and this that was a suggestion to open the doors. Okay, so I feel like that's what the message there is. Okay, so to uh, be more open. It may take some a little bit more tweaking on your part, but I feel like this person wants in. All right, so let's leave it there. Okay, now let's 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 take this deck real and take a card from here. Mm. Okay. This is the first house. What people see and the impressions you give. Interesting. Okay, so mm, on some level, there's a self-esteem thing here. Okay. Um, what people see, like this man, this gentleman, he is a gentle man. Uh, is like not just physical beauty, but the beauty that emanates, okay? If you see this card here, it even it, it, it shows that. See the emanation? That's from you, the beauty of you, okay? And, but for some reason, um, what you see in yourself, and a lot of, this may not be for everybody, this, some people... Uh, may not have this okay but um is not the same as how other people see you in your light so even for some people will make a compliment on your hair is what i'm picking up here from this card and uh it's like you some of you will um, like look down or not know how to respond or feel awkward is what I'm getting. And what's interesting is some of you all are famous people, okay? And the famous people may not come here, but that's what they're showing me. Even stars, Hollywood stars and people who are famous still are doing this, some of the Torians, Okay. But it's like, okay, so then they showed me the Torians that were getting married is like there was a certain degree of surrendering that. And that's how they were able to get married again. Okay. Ooh, that's, that's good. That's juicy. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there. Um, so you might look into your chart a little bit more um, with the first house and see if there's anything else you can pick up during your meditations. And I leave you with that, Taurus. Thank you.